Am I the asshole? For becoming that parent by causing a stink at my daughter's school? My daughter, Cleo is very active outside of school. She plays soccer, takes swim lessons and will play outside a lot with neighborhood kids. She's very social. Most of her friends are from outside of school. At school, however, she struggles making friends. Cleo has ADHD and was bullied in third and fourth grade for some of that. While it was brought under control by fifth current grade, these kids still don't play with her and pretty much ice her out. While I don't think they have to play with her, it also means that she doesn't socialize a lot at school. She's okay with this. Her teacher says our daughter often plays alone at recess or reads. My wife and I were not very concerned and explained she's very social and active afterwards. Cleo is a huge reader. She's currently reading her way through my wife's collection of books from her childhood. She loves them and treasures them, knowing they were her mama's and wants to take great care of them. She came home on Tuesday, very upset and worried her mom would be upset with her. I asked why and she said her teacher took her book away and won't give it back until tomorrow. When pressed for more information, she said she was reading at recess. Her teacher walked over, took the book and told her to go play. My daughter begged for her book back and the teacher refused. I quickly assured Cleo that she wasn't in trouble and even called my wife at work to have her back me up. It was quite concerning that she was so afraid, as my wife isn't one to fly off the handle. She's always gentle with Cleo. As suspected, my wife assured her she wasn't upset and that Cleo did zero wrong. The next day, I brought Cleo to school early and walked her to class. No one but the teacher was there. I told the teacher to give me the book. She obliged and tried to defend herself. I told her to save it and she had no right. There is no rule that Cleo has to do physical activity at recess and we expressed no concern. The teacher said she was allowed to set boundaries for her class but I pointed out recess was free time. It's not like Cleo is reading during math. We went back and forth, and finally I said I'd be reaching out to the principal. The issue was resolved quickly. I don't know the particulars, except the principal told me that Cleo is allowed to read at recess and unless she is actively harming someone or reading during a non-designated time, she wouldn't have any more books confiscated. My wife and I were pleased. Cleo even more so. My cousin is a teacher at this school, just a different grade. She says what I did is hot gossip in the teacher's lounge and that I have been marked as one of those parents. She says the teacher isn't paid enough and I should have just accepted the rule. When I pointed out we only have two more months left at this school Cleo is our only and starts junior high in August, that's not a concern. My wife and I feel justified, but we are wondering if I'm an asshole? Not the asshole and how does a teacher's pay have to do with her overstepping her bounds? One would think if she wasn't paid enough that she'd actually want to relax at recess instead of harassing children. Not the asshole. I did find the bit about the teacher isn't paid enough and I should have just accepted the rule pretty comical. Your child should not be mistreated at school because a teacher isn't paid enough. You did the right thing. The teacher was strangely out of line and lacking in compassion. Even if well-intentioned, she effectively punished Chloe which was wildly inappropriate. Not the asshole. How can you actively discourage reading and call yourself a teacher? Not the asshole. I was Cleo. I read a lot. I can't imagine if a teacher did what yours did. I understand teachers are overworked and underpaid on a criminal level, but they should also understand how group dynamics work. You think kids just sit off to the side because they don't like anyone? Um no. The loners are loners because no one likes them. Telling them to go insert themselves is like a social death sentence. The teacher isnt paid enough. To give a shit about a kid reading at recess. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Nothing wrong with reading a damn book during recess. Teacher was dumb to confiscate a book. Let it be gossip, you did nothing wrong. Not the asshole. The teacher overstepped big time and you stood up for Cleo. 
not the asshole. If by one of those parents they mean rational and thoughtful and don't let teachers act like dictators needlessly, then sure thing, own it. And you're right, recess is free time. This isn't reading or sitting out PEE a compulsory exercise or like during another subject. Not the asshole I am a teacher, and if I ever have a student who is reading for fun I actively encourage it. Recess is not just for physical activity, but for students to have free time to recharge. You waited for no other students to be around and confronted the problem. You are not the asshole here, and it sounds like the principal agrees. Not the asshole. Most kids need to be encouraged to read and the teacher did this. If, what is wrong with that teacher? I think Chloe should start a book club at recess out of spite. Not the asshole. A lot of times parents called one of those parents and hated by teachers are just parents trying to advocate for their own kids who usually are neurodivergent or have different needs in general. Not the asshole. Sounds like this teacher has control issues. What teacher actively discourages a student from reading in their free time? Not the asshole. The teacher might be underpaid, but she also actively made her job harder by enforcing a rule that does not exist. Not the asshole. What did the teacher want her to do? Try to approach the mean kids who've bullied her in the past to give them another opportunity to leave her out and bully her again? Give her even more anxiety and hurt her self-confidence? Wow teacher of the year fuck that, fuck that teacher's power trip too. Not the asshole. Cleo's reading is not disrupting anyone but that teacher. That teacher's behavior is inexcusable, and it's a shame your cousin is confusing advocating for your daughter with hot gossip. This happened to me in school but I didn't have the guts to tell my parents because my teacher was stern and had me convinced I'd done wrong. I think this an instance where being that parent, is a good thing. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. A teacher discouraging a kid from reading? That's a new one. Apparently the principal agreed with you. I agree that teachers are underpaid, but that doesn't really have anything to do with this situation. Not the asshole. She was out of line, and if she wanted Cleo to engage more with her classmates, taking her book away and forcing her to go play wasn't the right move. Especially for a kid that's being iced out by her peers. Wow. Not the asshole even the slightest. That teacher may be underpaid and miserable but had no right to do that and upset your kid. You did good. Not the asshole. First off your cousin is a for engaging in hot gossip instead of sticking up for family. Secondly Cleo reading at recess is in no way wrong. She can spend her recess how she see fit and if reading a book helps her recharge, that's her choice. It's good you stood up for her and let her know you had her back. As for the teacher, Major R because how is her reading affecting you? She needs to be somewhere recharging herself. Not being a playground bully to your kid. As someone who works in a school I am going with not the asshole. I mean fair enough ask a kid if they want to play but if they're not causing any harm just let them read a book.